solve this Diophantin equation, where, m and n are positive integers. This is a Diophantin equation with two variables and one equation. Since there are more variables than equations, multiple solutions may exist. How can we solve this equation? Typically, there are several approaches to solving such equations. For example, one method involves rewriting the equation as a product of two algebraic expressions in the relevant variables, set equal to a constant. Since the variables of interest are integers, each algebraic expression must be an integer factor of the constant. This leads to a system of equations. By solving the system, we can find the integer solutions to the original equation. We will now solve the equation using this method. Firstly, we combine the fractions on the left-hand side of the equation. To add two fractions, we need a common denominator, which is mn in this case. So, we can rewrite the left-hand side of the equation as, m plus n over mn. Then, we can cross-multiply to get rid of the denominators. So, we can now write, 29m, plus 29n equals mn. Let's rewrite this equation, to make it more manageable, mn minus 29m, minus 29n equals 0. The first two terms on the left-hand side of the equation, have a common factor m, so they can be factorized and written as, m times n minus 29. Now we add 29 squared to both sides of the equation. Negative 29n plus 29 squared, can be factored as, negative 29 times n minus 29. Now the two terms on the left-hand side of the equation, have a common factor, n minus 29. So they can be factored as, m minus 29, times n minus 29. Next, we need to find all pairs of positive integers, such that, their product is equal to 29 squared. We know that, 29 is a prime number, so the integer pairs of 29 squared are, 29, 29. Or, 29 squared, 1. Or 1, 29 squared. For each integer pair, we have a system of equations. For integer pair, 29, 29, we have a system of equations, m minus 29, equals 29, and n minus 29, equals 29. So m equals 58, and n equals 58. We can verify whether this is a solution of the original equation. When m equals 58, n equals 58, the left hand side of the equation is equal to, 1 over 58, plus 1 over 58, which is equal to, 2 over 58, which is 1 over 29, which is equal to, the right hand side of the equation. So, it is a solution of the original equation. For integer pair, 29 squared, 1, we have a system of equations, m minus 29 equals 29 squared, and n minus 29 equals 1. So m equals 29 squared, plus 29, which is equal to, 29 times 30, which is equal to, 870. And n equals 29 plus 1, which is 30. We can verify whether this is a solution of the original equation. When m equals 870, n equals 30, the left hand side of the equation is equal to, 1 over 870, plus 1 over 30, which is equal to, 1 over 870, plus 29 over 870, which is equal to, 30 over 870, which is equal to, 1 over 29, which is equal to, the right hand side of the equation. So, it is a solution of the original equation. For integer pair, 1, 29 squared, we have a system of equations, m minus 29 equals 1, and n minus 29 equals 29 squared. So m equals 29 plus 1, which is 30. And n equals 29 squared, plus 29, which is equal to, 29 times 30, which is equal to, 870. We can verify whether this is a solution of the original equation. When m equals 30, n equals 870, the left hand side of the equation is equal to, 1 over 30, plus 1 over 870, which is equal to, 
29 over 870, plus 1 over 870, which is equal to, 30 over 870, which is equal to, 1 over 29, which is equal to, the right hand side of the equation. So, it is a solution of the original equation.